everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday evening, and the first Thursday in October. It's a beautiful night out there, and this is Mia Jackson. You're here with us, Game Ready Mom, and it's the show for all of you active, concerned parents out there of young athletes. We want to talk today about money. It's a it's a very, very serious topic. I don't know how many of you got the chance to take a listen to or, or watch the ESPN documentary that just aired a few nights ago called Broke. And one of the things that the program focused on was a number of professional athletes who ended up filing bankruptcy or ended up broke after receiving ridiculous amounts of money that really should have carried them at least you know, through the end of their lives and most likely another generation. However, they didn't have the skill set, they didn't have the education and knowledge to actually take care of those funds. Now, the one of one of the problems that we see, and, and I think Jamal Mashburn was talking about it on the documentary, for the folks out there who didn't get to see the documentary, that it really did go in depth in the words of the athletes themselves you know, to talk about the things that were problems for them. And one of the things uh, that they pointed out, and I think it was Bart Scott as well, that none of them had any financial training heading into their careers. They just kind of got thrust into this career and got a big check. Are you seeing that still happening with the athletes that are on your roster right now? Well, you know, luckily um, we, we've been fortunate to work with some, some pretty good guys. But, you know, at the same time, sure, I mean, we, we've got guys who are 19, 20, 21 years old and have never written a check before in their life. Some guys I've seen uh, carry the check around for a couple of days. Some guys didn't even really know how to write a check, you know, because they never had to. Some guys don't even know how to open up a bank account. I cashed my first check in the NFL at a cash and joint. Um, which I think they laughed at me, yo. And so there's no way possible that I could start from the very beginning talking about stocks and bonds and mutual funds and life insurance and annuities. You know, I, I'd probably, <clears throat> excuse me, sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. So, so there's a lot of education that sort of has to be done on the front end of that. And one of the reasons why we decided to start our own firm is because when you work somewhere like uh, uh, your, your, your Smith Barney, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, so on and so forth, you know, those guys call themselves financial advisors, but really what they are is the financial sales people you know i was i was in a, i was a broker really you know they called me a financial advisor but i was a broker I, th- I believe that you are what you get compensated for and i was compensated for the amount of assets that i could bring into the firm and, and the fees that i could generate off of that and and those two things aren't necessarily in the best interest of the client and so we we wanted to create a structure where <clears throat> where there was no undue pressure to get these guys involved in the investment vehicles before they were really ready to do that. What are some of the signs that you would say they should look for, even if it's someone they're going to, like in the role that you were in as a broker, I'm sure you were still more so than most concerned about the well-being of your client. Sure, 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 I was. I think, you know, what, what, I, what I tell folks is to, is to have faith in people, but don't necessarily put all your trust in them. I mean, because what we see over and over is that these guys have people handling their financial affairs who they think they can trust. And it's funny how money can change people. And by the time you find out you really couldn't trust them, it's probably too late. There's guys out there that just trusted the wrong people and you get bit. The jury in Gainesville, Florida has found sports agent William Tank Black guilty. Black's accused of stealing up to $14 million from football players he represented. Jaguars running back Fred Taylor testified that Black stole most of his $5 million signing bonus. So have faith in people, but don't necessarily put all your trust in them. And, and so what that means, you've got to have a structure that takes trust out of the equation. So, for example, especially for the top, top guys, I mean, your first-round picks where, where, where the money um, is obviously larger, you, you either want to do one of two things. You want to have 
more than one financial advisor uh, and you split up what you're going to do between the both of them because in that structure, let's say I, if I was involved with a client, he has another person, you know, I'm looking at what he's doing. He's looking at what I'm doing because we both want all the business at the end of the day. I'm watching you. Well, I have eyes too. So I'll be watching you. Watching me. So we're both checking each other and at the end of the day, the client is going to benefit from that. So you take trust out of the equation because you've got two people who are going to check each other. Or you want to work with a financial advisor, but you want to have some sort of objective third party involved, involved in the equation that's going to look over things periodically. <laughs> money is where it say where they say it is make sure you're paying what they say you're paying <laughs> and and just in general that things are going the way they should <laughs> has to be somebody that doesn't have anything to gain from your financial accounts. They're not trying to sell you anything. So this may be an accountant. It might be, it, it, it may be a family member or something like that. Someone that you're going to pay a fee to for this service, but that's completely objective and uh, knows how to talk to talk and, and can make sure things are operating as they should.